For this problem, we have f of x and we have g of x. The operation they want us to do is division. So what we need to do is put one over the other, divide them. And when they would divide, they also are asking us to find what the domain is. So uh, f of x divided by g of x, that's going to give me x squared plus 6 over the square root of 1 minus x. Now I look at this problem, and there's really nothing else I can simplify with this. So as far as dividing it, that's really about as far as I can go. Um, simplified version. However, I need to find and figure out the domain. Remember the domain is all the x values that are defined for your function. So there's only two times that we have an x value where it's not defined. One is when we're dividing by our x value is 0 and we're dividing by it on the bottom. So you, it's x is not defined when you divide by 0 and x is also not defined when it's a negative under a uh, root, square root. So what we need to do for this problem is uh, first of all, when is this going to become 0? Well, if I had x equal 1, well, actually, when is it equal to 0? Right? So when does this equal 0? Well, if you square both sides, 0 equals 1 minus x. Add the x on both sides. x is equal to 1. So therefore, we know x. this function is not defined when x is equal to 1. Because when x equals 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. You can't divide by 0, right? So 1 doesn't work. What about when is it negative under the radical? Well, let's test that. So it has to be, um, we know that the square root of 1 minus x, for it to be defined for x, has to be greater than or equal to 0. Again, let's solve for x. Um, so you square both sides. 1 minus x, greater than or equal to 0. You add the x this time. So 1 is greater than or equal to x. Oh, let's write this. x is less than or equal to 1. Now, we said x cannot equal 1. So it's all. So this has to be all values that are less than or equal to 1. However, we said x cannot equal 1. So therefore, your domain is x is, le Shoot, that was horrible. X is less than 1. Because it's not equal to because we said it can't be equal to. Right? Got it? That makes a little sense? Um, yeah. really. No? Oh. What don't you get? I thought that x has to be greater than. Um, that's what I thought. That right it says all this has to be greater than 0, right? So yeah. let's solve for what values have to be greater than or equal to 0. So when I solve for it, that's squared, right? And then what happens is I, I just solve for that. So I, I move the x over here. So it's actually all values that are less than 1 think about this, all values that are less than 1 work. Okay. work. If mm -hmm. x was bigger than 1. Put it this way. What if Let's put in 5 for there. 1 minus 5 is what? Negative, negative four, 4, right? You can't take the root of negative 4, right? Yeah. Well, let's say if it was negative 5. Teacher, 1 minus negative 5 gives you, time, will you please turn right, your TV positive channel. 6. So then you can take the root of a positive made? 6. Oh, yeah. Make sense? So yeah, that's yeah. the way it you know, kind of works. Just make sure you solve for it. So that's how you do the portion. So you pretty much just find the. That's all you're really doing for those divisions, yes. <coughs>